Today we'll be discussing how to add modded factions to your Warlords mission. The process is fairly simple. First you'll need to open up your Warlords init module and scroll down to this section where it shows faction configs. In these areas you'll need to add the faction config of your custom factions. In this case I've used RHS and you'll also need to change your asset list from the default to a new name that you can make up yourself. For more details on how to find config names, see my other video on the topic. Currently there's a bug with some factions. If they use group names that aren't the standard names like motorized and mechanized, they won't be able to spawn any vehicles in their garrisons. I've submitted a ticket which I'll put a link to in the description. Hopefully the devs will get around to fixing that at some point. Next is the most tedious part. You'll need to set up your custom asset lists so that players can spawn in the modded vehicles. To do this, open up your mission file, which can usually be found in My Documents, Armor 3, Other Profiles. Once you have this open, create a new file and call it description.ext. Once this is open, you'll need to create several different classes. The first thing that you need to create is a class CFG WL Requisition Presets. Next, create a class that will be the name of the asset list that you put into the Warlords init module. Next, you'll need to create two classes. One class is called West, the other is called East. These will be the two separate lists of items that each side can spawn in a PvP scenario. Once those are made, you'll need to make subcategories for each side. These can be anything you want and will come up as the menu options that you can choose from. Once that's done, you need to make a class for every single item that you want to be able to spawn. These classes have to match the class name of the object that you want to spawn. And inside each class, you need to add a variable called cost and a variable called requirements. The cost is the amount of command points it costs to buy the item. And the requirements can be either A, H, or W, which indicates that you need an airstrip, a helipad, or a harbor to be captured. That's it. That's it. That's all, that's all you got to do. Yep. 